Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to introduce you to something fly, something new. It's the old man Ebro here with a young man by the name of Eric Bellinger. Yes, now, sir. Now, a lot of y'all think y'all know what's going on in music. You know, I see your comments on YouTube. We try to put you on some things. Y'all think y'all be up on ish before we do. But the real thing is, is if you don't know who Eric Bellinger is, then you don't really know what's been going on in R&B for some time. Because this cat right here got a long hey, resume of hits. Hey, he said it. I'm just... I mean, I, I, you, you, I'm stunting on your back. <laughs> but let's run I through it real quick. Like, um, run through some songs, some titles for the people. Okay. Things um, you've done. Fine China. Okay. Chris Brown. Love More, Chris Brown. Okay. Mirage featuring Nas, Chris Brown. Okay, a lot of Chris Brown work. Yeah, Usher, Let Me See. Usher, What Happened to You? Usher, I Care For You. Mm -hmm. Um, Usher, Go Missing. Justin Bieber featuring Drake right here. Mm -hmm. um, Justin Bieber, Thought Of You. Um, Think Like A Man. Okay. Jennifer Hudson and Neo. Um, I mean, that's... It's a heavy list. Help, yeah. And how long and how long you been writing? Like three, four years. So just in four years, that's your list. Yeah. And how like, you know, how did you get in the game? Like how did you get discovered? How did you get on the scene? Um basically I, I started off doing like the singing groups. Um got signed to Epic real early and um was doing a group thing for some years, like six, seven years. Any groups we would know? Um not sure. Not I mean group called a new nah, I mean, yeah so you know what i mean okay but basically like we was doing our thing and um i don't know it just didn't it wasn't happening b2k right. broke up you know what i'm saying it was a lot of it nah, was a, that crushed that crushed the future for any black boy <laughs> that bands, killed right it. that killed it so then after that it was like all right cool let me try something else and then i just started writing just to try to take a different avenue on some bruno mars you know what i'm saying carrie hilson the dream type thing and i just seen it working for a lot of cats like neo just take the back door in rather than you know what i'm saying taking it as the thirsty you're like yo you know i'm an artist i need so i was like let me position my Myself to where cats need me you know what I mean cats can come to me and then when it when it when it comes around full circle they look at me and they 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 more open to do me a favor you know what so I mean? now, the reason I have you up here and we bring artists up a long time a, a lot just to educate yeah the listener the viewer on what's going on behind the scenes because people do like to know how this how this thing works uh -huh. so how does it like you write a song you record the song and then you send that song out to different yeah. artists labels how's it go pretty much um most of the time that's how that's how you get in you know what i mean you got to come up with something on your own that's just fire that's undeniable um for example let me see was written away from usher he heard the song and was like, who is this cat? But where did he hear it? How did he hear it? He heard it because I was at like a, like a camp, like a, like a writing camp where, okay. they, where they bring together a bunch of different writers, a bunch of different producers. And who's they? And, like uh, the labels do label, this, managers? Sony, I'm okay. signed to Sony. Okay, so you're signed as an artist to Sony or a as songwriter? A, as a songwriter. Okay, okay. So, um, you know, they, they bring bring everybody together and... Um, Shoot, his A and R's is there. His A and R's is like, yo, this is a beat I love. This is a beat I love, and it's just a, a great environment, a friendly competition, because you got your peers in in different studios. So it's all, right? yeah, so it's, it's a room filled with everybody trying yeah. to gun to write the best material. Exactly, and not write together. So that's so the you're kick. writing against each I'm, other. Yeah, so it's like you gotta. Your boy is in the next room, a girl, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, when everybody go listen to what everybody do, you want to make sure you walking out there and they like, man, he came with a crazy one today. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's, it's a doper way and it's more pressure just to make sure you write that one. So um, came up with Let Me See and then um, Usher was like, he heard it and was like, yo, get this kid down here. Got in the studio with him and then it was just magic after that. We just became brothers ever since so when i when i heard about your name i heard about a lot of these songs you was writing for people um i had no idea that you had aspirations of being an artist yourself though mm -hmm. so a lot of times it, uh, it's confusing for me i don't know about the audience but i'm like yo you making money already yeah and you know you see what artists go through like yeah. the criticism yeah. and, the, and, the, and the slander and the paparazzi yeah. and, and you know whether they concert tickets is going to sell or not, whether the album's going to sell or not, all of that. Mm -hmm. And as a songwriter, you don't have to worry about those things, but you still get paid. Why do you want to... 
Well, for me, it's it's bigger. Uh, I I definitely, for one, I started, you know, what I mean, doing that, doing the artistry more. So that was my love. Grew up singing in church, you know. What I mean, I always love, you know, what I mean, just performing, being on stage. There's no feeling like that, you know. what I mean, so be, being behind the scenes, you can't really get that off. You just like looking at other people perform your songs, and it's always a dream. Like, man, I want to do that, you know. what I mean, and then not only that, but just me being who I am and my character and my personality and the way I was raised, I feel like I could be a great example example for you know the young kids that's growing up and just really be you know that person that they can look to you know what i mean for the right way you know what i mean that parents could be like yo i'll go buy that album i'll go do that you know what i'm saying so you have uh other songwriters made the transition neo made the transition yeah. um had some hits some hit albums yeah. now he's trying to find his way back after going top 40 and making those like dance records it yeah. feels like he's trying to find his spot again yeah uh the dream had mm -hmm. some success but i i get from the dream like when i talk to him he don't really care about the whole touring part. Like he don't want to mm -hmm. do shows. He just wants to make albums because yeah. he knows that 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 kind of I guess packaging a mm -hmm. complete body of work is kind of yeah. And he puts together those kind of thematic yeah type albums. See, no, I think I think a lot of people they they start off doing one thing and then they you know venture off and that just comes with that comes with you know the territory it's like you never know what you're gonna expect you, you try something out like yo this is working i need to go over here or this is working i need to go over here and a lot of people do do the dance music and it's kind of tough you know what i mean it happens for everybody goes through it you know well, what I mean? yeah, Rappers, they, and you know. a lot of times it's because and just for the audience so you know when your favorite artist runs out here and makes some of these david getter sound records not yeah. that there's anything wrong with that yeah. people make that transitions because they trying to get that airplay they trying to yeah. get all over and it's big in Europe, so it helps you yeah. get your profile uh, yeah. in Europe because that dance music tends to be pretty big over there. That's true. I, I just still think it's possible, you know what I mean, to, to, to cross over and not doing that type of music. You know what I mean? Like so you would stay away from making those uh, electronic definitely. dance yeah, sounding records. For sure. So, and I, and I think the transition kind of got made because that stuff got played out where you had Bruno Mars mm -hmm. with Treasure and you had Justin yeah. Timberlake and yeah. these kind of up tempo, soulful, yeah. at uh, least Robin at Thicke least those records, lines. I feel like those aren't jumping over the fence you know what i'm saying well because the, uh, the the essence of those records are really like still so they're still soulful yeah. dance disco -y sound sounding agree. records i agree so those are really the essence of kind of what black music mm -hmm. was was like in, in the, the in the 70s yeah in the exactly. early 80s mm -hmm. so now but now they consider those records pop though yeah they do but, but i still i still don't look at it like Man, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm with you. I won't you know let them take that from me. Yeah, like that's us. You know what I'm saying? Like you got you got JT representing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? He does his thing. He with does it. his thing. So it's no reason why we can't still. But you know Ju Justin, I mean? if you look at Justin's musical, um, just take a tangent. You look yeah. at Justin's musical uh, discography or whatever mm -hmm. you call it. All of his records have been, you know, Pharrell, Timbaland. Yeah. You know, very soulful, yeah, very he, hip-hop leaning. He got something that's working. And for me, it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? He got a team of, of writers and producers that he always goes to, and it and it's working. You know what I'm saying? That's the, it's like, that's the gist of it. It's like, I don't, he don't really experiment too much. So where's like your that. music at today? You're a new artist. Yeah. Do you have a, a mixtape I think you have out yeah. or something like that? Yeah. Talk about yeah. it. Yeah. I got um, Born to Sing Volume 3. I did like a compilation, um, a series. Just born to sing, born to sing, born to sing. It's real R and B. It's real um, hood. It's hood enough for the fellas, and it's sexy enough for the ladies to feel confident when they listening. I'm really singing on there on some jagged edge. You know what I'm saying? On some, okay. you know what I mean? So it's just, it's just real church background. Yeah, church backgrounds, harmony. I study Brandy and Tank and Kimberrell. You know what I'm saying? So people gonna listen to it and they gonna hear Kimberrell. That's a big name to throw out there, yeah. brother. You setting, the, setting the bar high. <laughs> yeah. Don't I mean, now. nah. I say now. it with. Being I say it. Proud. Proudly, okay. I say it proud. You know right, what I'm we saying? We gonna see. I say it proud, and then um, yeah, I don't know, just just the real music. But at the end of the day, I'm from I'm from Compton, so it's like I got the best of both worlds. Wow, so I saying? didn't even know you was from Compton. Yeah, you got you uh, a lot of music coming out of Compton. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah. all the black people moved out of Compton. They all live in the Inland Empire now. <laughs> That's the word. I moved. I ain't been. You know, I, I ain't moved, been. There, I ain't been out there in a long time. I moved. I moved uh, west. I came. Where, so I'm, where in, you I'm, at? In the, I'm in the valley. I'm in North Hollywood. <laughs> I had to get out of there though. Wow, what's sure. going on in Compton that you Man. had to get out? Is it still too crazy or? It's crazy. It's still the same. It's still crazy. But I heard it's all Mexicans now though. 
Yeah, it's Mexican. Compton's it's, all it's Mexican. Still, it's, still, it's still black people. So it's though. black and Mexican. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's just one of those, because a lot of, you know, a lot of people, y'all watching, if you're in LA, you know what time it is. Sometimes the blacks and Mexicans don't get along. <laughs> true. The things from the pen spill true. out to the street. True, true. Is that still happening or are things are mellow? Nah, right yeah, now? I think they come out. They, they, they ain't learned nothing in there. Damn. They ain't learned nothing. They Damn. get out there and it's like, man, yo, I ain't remember got my to Mexican lose. people, remember we was all one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Black and brown pride, we all together. Yeah, I'm trying we to say. Together. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you brought up. Kim Burrell, man. Yeah. So you know, if you gonna you know throw the name out there, you gotta sing now, man. All right, cool. You want me to do some Kim Burrell? You want no, me to do, do some? Do what you do. I just want the people to know you can sing. I'm gonna post up over here and let them judge. All right, let me see. Let me see. <clears throat> Baby, let's let's stay together, loving you forever. Whether times are good or bad, happy or sad, oh, 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 oh yeah. Eric Bellinger, sounded official. We're going to check hat. these tapes out. Yeah. The Kim Burrell thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you. You throw that name around. I know what <laughs> I know, that I know. means. Yeah. All right. Good yeah, luck. Appreciate you career, so man. much, man. Come Thank by you. anytime. We'll Most be here definitely. for you. Most that's definitely. That's what's up. Yes, sir.